Hello everyone, Tim and Game here, and today I am bringing you my very, very first episode in what hopefully turns out to be a very long series of Mass Effect 3 multiplayer class guides. Today's class covers a class you can use straight away in the demo, the Human Female Sentinel, so let's get straight on with the analysis. Now, the Human Female Sentinel works best when used as a support role. This is because its two major biotic powers, Warp and Throw, are best used in conjunction with your teammates, and these clips go to show how this is best achieved. These next four clips are all excellent examples of how to use Throw effectively online. Throw is an absolutely brilliant biotic power for stunning Guardians, and Guardians can be quite tricky to kill because they're large shield, and especially when they come into packs of two or three. However, by using the Throw power, not only do you knock them on the back foot, you end up making them drop their shield, resulting in very, very easy kills. The first two examples of this are just me, on my own, using throw and then using my main primary weapon to take them down. However, the two clips that come immediately after this show just how versatile a biotic power throw is. In the third clip, just about to start here, I end up using throw to help a nearby teammate take the Guardian out with his Mantis sniper rifle. So not only is throw a fantastic biotic power to use when you're on your own, it's another fantastic power to use when you're supported by your teammates, as harder, peskier enemies can be weakened first before being taken out by superior firepower. This final clip goes to show just how effective throw can be even against the biggest enemies. When this mech starts to come down the stairs, I just keep spamming throw at it, and as you can see, it keeps getting knocked back, giving us a lot more time to unload bullets on it. Our weapons aren't the strongest, but by using throw, we can keep the mech far enough away for us to get enough time to kill it without coming under any major threat ourselves. The next biotic power available to a human female sentinel is warp. Now warp is slightly different to throw as warp is much more useful when being used on the offensive because not only do you stun enemies as you advance towards them, at the higher levels warp weakens enemies against other forms of attack. So you can use warp to stun an enemy and then as you close in with your other weapons the damage they take will go through the roof. So these two clips really show how to use warp effectively with a variety of weapons against a variety of enemies. You just keep pushing forward and as the enemy gets stunned by warp it gives you that extra two or three seconds to unload at him before they can recover and begin to get fire back. Now warp is another fantastic biotic power to use in conjunction with teammates because like I said at its higher levels it begins to weaken the enemy you stun using warp against other forms of attack, be it power or be it weapon attacks. So you can use warp in conjunction with teammates to help take down those tougher enemies in half the time that it would normally. And as this last clip shows, warp is a fantastic biotic power to use when going to the aid of downed teammates, as you can stun the enemies nearby them as you come to their rescue. Now, the third in-game power available to the human female sentinel comes in form of a tech power. At first glance, tech armor seems like a very, very versatile power. Not only does it give you increased damage resistance as to several types of attack, it can also be exploded when nearby enemies, causing quite a substantial bit of damage. However, personally, I would advise using against tech armor. This is because your other two biotic powers, warp and throw, are far more versatile and far more useful. Also, tech armor is a little bit of a last resort. If you are using tech armor, you know you've got a little bit too close to the enemy or you're getting overwhelmed. I would try to stick to using the other two and leave tech armor as a last resort only. By this point, you should realize that the human female sentinel is best used in a support role. And there are several weapons that you can use that not only improve your strengths, but also compensate for your weaknesses. Now, the strengths of the human female sentinel are long distance engagements. You want to keep the enemy as far away as you can so you can use your powers such as throw to slow them down, warp to weaken them, so, and so you can bring in all of your teammates' firepower together to take down those harder enemies as fast as possible. A brilliant weapon for this is the MA Avenger 2 Assault Rifle. This Assault Rifle has very, very rapid fire, but also, as you can see from the clips I'm playing at the moment, when you use it in cover, it becomes one of the most accurate assault rifles in the game. This enables you to not only put withering firepower down on long-range enemies, the rate of fire means that if you do get up close with it, you have enough firepower there to take enemies down quickly without exposing yourself to any undue harm. This is a fantastic weapon, not only in conjunction with your powers, but in conjunction with other teammates. And I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend you give it a try. 
The second weapon I would recommend for the human female sentinel is the M27 Scimitar 1 semi-automatic shotgun. Now you've already seen me use this weapon several times, most notably in the warp section of this tutorial. However, this weapon is not only very very good at taking down enemies, it is also very very useful at taking down some of the larger enemies in the game. If you ever find yourself backed into a corner against a large mech or a powerful enemy, the M27 Scimitar really can come to your rescue. Although it isn't designed to be able to take down mechs, if you've got nothing else on you, it really isn't a bad choice at all to close down and try and pump as much lead as possible into the big target. You'd be surprised at how much damage you can do with just one magazine of this shotgun. And it really does help to complement the warp power, especially when used in an offensive way. As I've said before, the main strength of the human female sentinel is its ability to support your teammates both through using biotic powers and by using the very very accurate assault rifles to keep the enemy at arm's length while those teammates around you that can hit harder against the tougher enemies really go to town. However, sometimes you just feel that the human female sentinel needs a little bit more firepower and this is where the equipment category really comes into its own. The Cobra missile launcher, although only one use, is key for giving you that little bit of an extra advantage in those sorts of situations where you need to bring down those powerful enemies as fast as possible. The Cobra also helps compensate for the only real area of weakness of the human female sentinel, which is the very, very powerful high health enemies. By having a Cobra missile launcher in reserve, you can bring it out only when you need it and that will make the human female sentinel one of the best classes to use, not only at the easy levels, but right up to the most difficult gold level achievements. That little bit of advice there brings to an end my very very first Mass Effect 3 multiplayer class guide. I really hope you've enjoyed the video, but if there's anything else you want me to cover in the future episodes of the series, don't hesitate to either send me a personal message or leave a comment in the video. I will read everyone, so if you do have an idea to make the series better, I'd be thrilled to hear it. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and as always, have a great day.